Bo's with us tonight. He's going to share some of uh, his story. Thank you. Go ahead. Well, uh, Bo Richback was born and raised in Billings, Montana. Um, my wife Lacey over here, and my son Landon will be out of the bathroom shortly. <laughs> Um, in 2012, uh, January 3rd, 2012 is when I deployed uh, to Afghanistan as a Navy SEAL. Um, about seven months later is when my life had a huge change when I stepped on an IED and losing both my legs. It was it was, it was tough to deal with at first when uh, you know I first. Right after the explosion, my first thought was, am I going to see my family again? And I, for a little bit there, I was kind of helpless. My arm was damaged, and I kind of had a moment where it was it was all over. I was like, there's nothing I can do. I can't put a tourniquet on myself. And uh, just kind of laid back and was like, oh, this is over. Um, and then I, one of my best friends came in and started working on me and said everything's going to be okay and that reminded me of my son Landon and how ever since we found out we were having Landon I've always used him as my motivation in everything I've done and tell my, I've always told myself I can never tell my son that I quit something and that is the biggest motivation that got me through SEAL training To, to join the elite brotherhood that I was a part of. And uh, this has helped me through many things in my life and also through my recovery. You know, every, every, every day that I went to, uh, to rehab and did recovery, I thought of Landon, you know, I, I can't tell him I quit something, or even if I had a bad day, Landon was there later on in my recovery to go grab my legs for me and to say, hey, let's go. Uh, sit in the room or let's go walk or let's do something and push me to to uh, keep moving forward. Um, shortly after uh, rehab or rehab started, um, I got into hockey. I grew up playing hockey my whole life here in uh, Montana. Um, got into a little trouble when I was in high school, which led me to the Montana Youth Challenge program, and that kind of ended my hockey career. And uh, after uh, after a little convincing from people in rehab and then finding out I was a hockey player, they uh, they pushed me to get back out on the ice and started playing sled hockey. And I've been playing sled hockey now for almost five years, several months after the injuries when I started. Then uh, it's led me to now we've. I'm on Team USA, and we just got back from South Korea a couple uh, a couple weeks ago. We took silver, unfortunately. Now, a lot of people think that for world, world championships, that oh, silver has a good job, but uh, for for us, Team USA and being prideful of our country, you know, we we consider gold or nothing with our with our hockey and. Uh, so hockey and my rehab and uh, continuing to, to push myself has led me on quite the journey. Uh, and then going back a little bit to uh, after after uh, rehab was finished, uh, retiring from the military, we, uh, me and my family, we moved back to uh, Montana where uh, me and my dad and several other foundations and people in our community, we started building our home. And uh, that took almost a year to about a year and a half before we had uh, finally moved in. Um, it was tough. Um, you know, I'd, before I talked to a lot of people and I was one of the first to ever, or the first to be a part of building their homes as part of these, the couple of these pro programs these foundations have. And that was another another uh, tough thing as well. Um, you know, having to wake up every day and you know, 
put your prosthetics on and go out there and, and my dad doesn't doesn't take it easy on me just like any other worker and uh, having to, to keep pushing myself and you know my motivation is there for my family to be able to get them into a home and uh, so my, I guess my biggest thing with with that finding motivation I guess finding motivation in in yourself is easier when uh, people to, people depend on you you have to, like our brotherhood and the seal teams we don't get anywhere without each other we uh, we help you you know if I have weak links do they pick up my weak links and uh, continue to push each other and uh, always better each other and if there's a negative point we address it and move on from it and to keep keep bettering bettering each other and I had uh, one of my COs to help me put it into words better when I, I spoke a while back, and he said continuing to serve. It's all about continuing to serve. Whether you were in the service or not in the service, it's all about doing something for someone in your community, your friends, family, whatever it is, every day, something little to, to benefit the greater good of you know everyone's life and to keep pushing pushing each other to do better. and. You know, you know, not everyone has to give a ton of money to someone to make them feel good. It's you know the thought and going there and caring and pushing each other because the only way we get better as a community and we get better as a country is to to do good things for each other. Bad things don't get us anywhere. And you know, a few things that I've done. Um, our family, not just me. When I whenever I say I, it's my family because I wouldn't be anywhere without them. Um, my little girl in Billings, uh, we were able to fund, help her fund a track chair. You know, because insurances, unfortunately, take uh, track chairs and other items or luxury items. Insurance companies do, and so we were able to give her her life outside of the wheelchair and be able to have freedom and that was huge for us. Um, we go to as many benefits as we can and do whatever we can to help anyone we can in the community because this community has given so much to me and our family. And I think that's the only way we can we can do better as a community is to continue to serve each other. Is you know I try to you know I, ha I have tough days. Everyone has tough days, but you know as long as there's more better days than there are tough days, it should should keep going up. So I just, just keep having the better days and keep keep fighting and keep working and living for someone else other than yourself because when we're selfish, it's when we fall apart. You know when we're a team, it's when we're stronger, stronger and able to to continue and fight through anything. Um, I appreciate you guys having me here and I appreciate everything the state of Montana and all the communities have done for me and my family. Thank you.